Mother Claire, many people consider communing with nature to be their spiritual practice. Do you as a mystic consider that to be true? I'm well aware how much nature means to many people. For so many, being out in nature, especially alone in nature, is a means to revive their spirits, to raise them up, to pull them out of everyday issues and open them up to a sense of awe and thrill and a sense of peace again. And I'm so grateful myself to the gifts nature provides to uh, inspire and lift up. There is no question that people feel even altered states of consciousness in nature in minor ways of feeling happy or peaceful again, um, and sometimes in having major spiritual experiences while in nature. I wish to point out, however, that nature in itself is not God, or it's not the highest form of God. To say nature is God would be the same as to say that your body is the highest expression of you, that the material is the highest form of anything. There is nothing above it. So nature, our beautiful planet, is the creation. It is not the creator. So it is an amazing creation and it can give us so much and I'm so grateful for it and it inspires to awe and to devotion and to peace and to caring and love. But I would hope that in the awake mind it would draw one's sights higher to how did this come about? If this creation is so amazing, how much more amazing is the creator who made it? The one whose mind could fathom these quadrillions of variations of every little thing. The one whose being was so vast and still is to keep this universe functioning. That is where the mind should rise to. It's as if someone met you and they find your body very interesting, but it never enters their minds that you, a being, is inside of there. A, a mind, a heart, a, a life experience, a personality. If they stay with the body, okay, there's something, but there's much more. And it's the same with nature. Nature is the material manifestation of the creator. There is so much more. There's the heart of the creator. Can you imagine the heart of that, the one who created all this? What might that be like? Now, you can get some clues of what it might be like by what you see in nature. Just as if you look at a beautiful piece of pottery and you are so awed by that piece of pottery, but I think it might make you think about the potter, the one who made it. What was in the potter's mind and heart when he or she created this pot? What skill they must have to do this? What creativity, what abilities and ways of thinking and feeling that you can't quite imagine? Wouldn't you sort of want to know the mind and heart of the potter rather than only admire the beauty of the pot? So it is with nature. I hope more and more people will rise in consciousness above the material world into what is the energy behind it? What is the consciousness within it and behind it? And therefore, raise up to expand consciousness to that which is much greater and deeper and more profound than only the beauty of the manifestation. I don't in any way believe I am putting down the enormity of the gift of nature in this. I'm instead appealing to you 
to raise up beyond materialism to what is actually spiritual, which means non-material, which is above nature and so great to be able to create this and maintain it. The heart and mind behind what is here. I hope you will strive to find that and become one with it.